let me show you guys that. Here we got 2018 earnings, about $19,000. I just put 20K because it sounds cooler. And about one booking away, you can kind of see over the last three months, kind of what we got. I got one booking coming in July, but haven't been doing it that long. Um, on this property, I kind of wanted to try something new, but you guys got to see that, so maybe I could do my intro now. Um, but what's going on guys? So uh, what I want to talk about is my experience with Airbnb over those last three months and kind of how I got to make about nineteen, twenty thousand dollars $20,000 and what it was like. Uh, it was both good and bad. There were some cool things, some bad things. Uh, you know, I want to relate it one for the people. This probably video is for people who are already in Airbnb or looking to get into it. But then also, some of you guys who are looking into real estate and some of the ways you can make money. I think Airbnb is just a very, very unique opportunity. Um, so if you're new to the channel, you're probably like, why don't you show your face? This, go look through the other videos. Um, but that's not really the biggest point here because I think, <laughs> you know, whether or not, you know, go through the page, do your thing. But at the end of the day, what I want to talk about is just what it was like, you know, making this much money on Airbnb and answering the question, is it worth it? Um, and I'm still kind of on the fence about that, but I want to talk about what it was like uh, making it. And you could even see, as I showed in the pictures, uh, I had my good months, like right in April, right when I was a new listing, it took off. Um, and that's one of the big things, you know, in like January, February, March, I used pretty much, I used HomeAway and other short-term rental services and I wanted to do Airbnb. The first month was great. And then May you see, you know, I only made like a $2,000 that month, uh, just above. And that was because I had my first incident. I had a, a Saudi Arabian prince, uh, no exaggeration, rented my house and he threw a party. And it was awful. Uh, I'll even make it in a separate video. I'll show you guys the pictures, the videos of what he did to the property. Uh, it was kind of insane. I was very, very disappointed, but it's, um, you know, it could have been worse and thank God, like it took, I didn't get paid out from Airbnb on that. You know, I thought their host guarantee was supposed to protect me. It was kind of bullshit. Um, but in the end they did pay me. They didn't pay me for all the damages that I had to pay for, but I learned a lot in that process and even then uh, I'll even say you know just how the guests were and you know what I would say too you know coming from my position I have a lot of properties I do a lot of work and you know at the end of the day if I didn't have this thing like my things on autopilot I'm in San Diego right now and I don't even need to be at my property in LA when I'm in LA the Airbnb I run in San Diego that takes care of itself all you have to do is just literally you know, make sure you have your cleaning on tact, your, your entry, you know, how people check in, check out. And it's just really always, I'm always on my phone anyway, so it's seeing that, but I also have some people who help me out, so shout out those people. Um, but the thing about Airbnb is kind of the guests. I would say, you know, you know, cause then like I said too, if I had to do all this work myself, you know, if I didn't have the cleaning and all that, it wouldn't be worth it because these people are, are sometimes nightmares. Uh, and uh, but then again, I've had like my first guest. This is what kind of sucked. My first ever guest, my first two guests, what happened? Um, I, I remember I put the house up and it was just very, very basic. Uh, I didn't put anything in it. Uh, you know, I, I put like furniture, light stands, all that, but I didn't have a TV. And I had this guy check in. He booked for about four or five nights for like twenty three, twenty five hundred dollars a pretty decent amount. And he came in. He, I thought it was cool because he was supposed to check in at like 9 p.m. He didn't even make it. He's like, oh, my flight got delayed. So he always technically already checked in and he came the next day. So he had to pay for that night. I got a free night pretty much. I was like, that's awesome. And then he came to the property super late the next day. And it was good because I don't think it was good. I kind of felt bad, but he got to the house and he just started complaining instantly. This is my first ever guest. He's like, well, what am I supposed to do? There's no TV in the house. Like, how am I supposed to do this, do that? And I was like, well, I said it in the listing, you know, I don't even do that. And I was like, you could call Airbnb. He was like, yeah, I'm canceling. And he canceled, told Airbnb, Airbnb called me. And then I talked with the guy and I said, hey, like, I don't know, what, like, what could I have done better? I put it in the listing. We don't have a TV. Uh, I, future update, I do have a TV now. Uh, <laughs> this was again, cause I just bought this house and I was just getting it set up. Um, I had other people leave. They took most of their stuff and I was like, all right, well, let's I wanted to test it out um, with this location. Uh, I've done Airbnb before 
And this was just more of, a, I guess, a higher priced home. And in Los Angeles, I traditionally only had stuff in like San Diego, Temecula, uh, Oceanside, shit like that. But it was cool because uh, he canceled. He canceled for a reason. I had there. I, I mean, it sounds like probably like I'm a douchebag saying he, it was good, but he um, he canceled and I got twenty five hundred dollars. He that Airbnb said no, you're not at fault, uh, and I got to keep that money, which was I was like, dang, that's you know, I was I was obviously happy towards Airbnb. Guy stayed on my property for two hours, left, got paid, but then again, you know, I saw kind of the future problem, so. I, that's why I got the TV there and then next day literally the next day after he left I had my calendar cleared I had a lady come in she said oh you know I live in Beverly Hills already um, I need to um, you know me and my husband just want to get away they they ran like an orphanage or something very very nice people I you know she was awesome she said you know I actually got a call from Airbnb saying can you host this lady her Airbnb just canceled we want to find her an accommodation I said sure why not you know feel free, I let her know, and I'm, I'm very transparent with people on it, and that's what I've learned, and that's something that I even, uh, I even had a call yesterday with uh, Airbnb, uh, because one of my bathrooms went out, and I, I told someone that it happened, and you know, they canceled, and I was cool with that, I gave them a refund, because I was like, yeah, you know, sorry, my bathroom's getting fixed, but she even just said, you don't have to give them a refund, you don't have to cancel, as long as you list it, so she said, just remove the amount of bathroom, so, I didn't know that in the beginning, but I was always still very transparent with people, and that's something if you want are gonna host, I would do that. And I went and I, you know, I told her everything, no TV. She was super chill, uh, and she stayed for two nights, made like a thousand bucks, and she left. Uh, and that was it. She left me. She was my first good review, uh, first review, because other guy couldn't leave one because he canceled. And then it started to go good from there, and I had a bunch of random guests. I don't want to spend too much time. Uh, maybe I'll make a part two explaining some of the other stuff, but what I wanted to tell you guys a little bit more about my experience, some of the stories. That was some of the good ones. I want to talk about some of the bad ones, but then also tell you guys, like, I guess, how you could utilize Airbnb or who I, you know, at the very least, I think my message is I think you guys should look into it or consider it if you guys are in socal and want to help me out with some of mine i I'd, I'd be totally up for it but or if you guys need help with any i have people that i could put you in touch with who could you know automate the process for you make it a lot simpler um and i tried many things i think i lowballed my price initially then i tried pricing tools but pretty much let me even explain now april was good i made like eight thousand dollars in april i had like four or five guests, couple thousand bucks each one, and it was just awesome, you know? And then coming into end of April, May, I get this one guy, this was that Saudi Prince, and that's what happened in May. It was late April, early May, I, everything was going good. I was, you know, excited, uh, you know, things are moving great. And then uh, this guy stays in the, pro pro the property, and I had so many red flags that I just, I was so new to that that area that I just didn't really pick up on it. And what happened was he was um, talking about, uh, he, he was just like, oh, just me, I'm, I'm trying to find a place to rent. Just one guest, he didn't have a profile picture. Um, and it was just all around sketchy and I, I don't know why it didn't like ring any alarm bells. I think because he was paying so much money. Like I made like, third, I made, that was, that was the only booking I got in May. I got other bookings in May but I was freaked the fuck out and I canceled them all. I said, no, I'm not taking it. I took the listing down and that's hence why I didn't make, you know, I probably would have been at almost $30,000 by this point, but I just didn't, I, I was spooked that after May. Um, you know, I was like, fuck that, you know, I don't, I don't get it. And you know, I, I was like, cause I didn't have cameras set up. I only had outside cameras. So I finally got cameras set up on the inside. But what happened, he let me know, he stayed for three nights, paid a crazy amount. And he was like, oh, I need to extend for a week. And you know, it's a big house. He said only one guest. I didn't ask him about the guest. I wasn't inqu inquiring about that. And then he kept asking me, he's like, can I bring my own cleaner? Can I bring my own cleaner? I was like, no man, like, what are you talking about? And then I, um, <laughs> he, the last day he's like, hey, so are you sure? Can I bring my own cleaner? He's like, I kind of had a little party at the house. And I was like, uh, what? I was like, I was like, how many people did you invite? You know, cause I charge extra per guest. And in general, like I have neighbors, it's a nice area. I don't want, that fucking many people in my house, you know, as you know, my experience with real estate, you know, we have a bunch of long-term rentals, like that's just more wear and tear on the property. 
you know, I, I doubt he relayed the house rules to 15 other motherfuckers. Uh, but that's what happened. He invited, he said, he's like, well, he asked me, he's like, why do you want to know? And I was like, oh, just so the uh, cleaner knows uh, what to expect when they get there. And he's like, oh, okay, well, I had 15, 16 people. And I was like, oh. You know, my heart literally sank. I was in San Diego. I got in my car and I instantly drove there because he was like an hour or two late checking. I was like, oh, we're leaving now. I get there, man. This dude is smoking a backwood with all of his buddies inside my fucking house. You know, this is a two and a half million dollar home in the hills and, you know, Beverly Hills. And I was just like, dude, what are you doing? Uh, and I was like, you know, I, I was just mortified. He had like a bunch of suitcases. There was a Hyundai Elantra parked outside with a smashed windshield. And I was just like, dude, you know, my name, I'm already a young guy. We already have this. I already have a lot of cars. You know, they'll see the, the Phantom, the Bentley. And I'm like, dude, my neighbors fucking hate us at this point. If they're, you know, this guy, he had friends with like tattoos on their faces. They look like little rappers, like, you know, little something, little this, little that. And it was just insane <laughs> because as, um, I was going upstairs to the property. It was trash. There were stains on the carpet. He burnt cigarette holes in my bare rug. Uh, it was it was just disgusting. You know, the worst part. He smoked in every single one of the beds. Um, oh, jeez. Okay. Uh, call. See, now I have my Nest cameras. It lets me know. But man, that was just a nightmare. He um, you know, he was smoking in the beds. Uh, I had pictures of all this videos, like even at the toilet, there was ash on the toilet. This guy was smoking backwoods on the toilet. House just reeked of a fucking giant backwood. There was, you know, literally he left weed everywhere. They stole my toilet paper. And I was like, damn, you're gonna steal my Charmin? Like, what the fuck? Like, you know, they, they, were, they were wealthy, but they were just, you know, I, I even told him, I said, hey man, you shouldn't let your friends take advantage of you because at the end of the day, you're gonna be paying for this. It was about $7,200 in damage. Um, and I had to get, I had to pay someone to get the smoke removal, carpets cleaned, uh, replace the beds and do all that. Cause it was just nasty at that point. It was disgusting. And I filed my claim with Airbnb and then that way it took them months. I finally got paid out. They didn't pay me all of it that they paid me a good amount, which was awesome. Um, and what I started to feel much better, but, and it even brings up the points too of like, you know, when you're starting out Airbnb, you have to understand how Airbnb system works. They're a company, they want to make money and what that means for you, how it drives competition with other hosts, et cetera, et cetera. And you know, you, you at the end of the day, you're letting people into your home. That's one part I kind of missed. Uh, you know, you guys know I'm a pretty private guy. You know, I don't even show my face. But at the end of the day, you know, if, hey, if you're paying me to stay in my house, that's great. But that's where I, I guess I got kind of too lax under the guys that okay, it's Airbnb. You know, I'll just accept anybody because you know it's through the company. It's this. It's not like that. Airbnb is literally the straight up. It's just Craigslist for for houses. Uh, and you know, they did have, but I was glad that the host insurance paid me out finally. That was a nightmare of a process. I'll make a video on that, uh, you know, so you guys could see kind of what I had to do to actually get it. And so you guys don't make the same mistake, but ultimately I got that, but then that's what led to my poor May, uh, where I only, you know, I, I made the extra money he booked for another week after there, you know, he stayed, he was the only person who stayed there in May. And I was like, fuck that, I'm getting cameras. Like I even had, I, I canceled three or four other I, I, other bookings. I would've made a lot more, but I canceled them. I, I was just scared. I thought one of, one of them was his friend. I thought they were trying to do this. And I just realized, I was like, man, these kids are gonna come here, book it as a party house and leave, like all this other stuff. I was just very paranoid. So I got Nest cameras, Nest locks. I got, you know, I decked the fucking house out with alarm systems and monitoring. And, and I just put that in my listing now. And I said, hey, I'm watching you motherfuckers. Got my eyes on you, no. But, and I'm just, I've learned, and that's what the thing I think you guys, if you ever want an Airbnb, you gotta learn it. And even then too, on the reverse side, so I'll kind of wrap it up here. I'll end with my points of like, you know, I, I do think all of you should get involved in this into the, if you can, and if you can't, um, or if you need help, let me know. But even if you can't, find ways that you can. You'd be surprised, you know, I even started getting it more into Airbnb because one of my students, shout out Irik, he's not even my student, he's just my, my boy, man, I love him. Uh, he should, you know, he told me his stories of what he was doing, he was renting out a place, subleased it, you, you know, he, I think he made 20 grand in like two, three months off of his apartment, you know, I, I did this off of a, a fat crib, you know, and, and even then, my logic behind this too, I'm gonna flip this house that I bought, uh, I bought it in January, you guys have probably seen it, it's that nice house in the hills, um, it's, you know, I bought it, I was going to fix it up, flip it, 
and I lived in it for a little bit till I got sick of LA. I, I kind of go in doses with that. And then I was like, you know, fuck that. I don't, you know, too bougie for me, but I, I use the house. I'll stop. That's why but I kind of found my balance. I thought Airbnb would be good. I was like, until I get it flipped, until I fix it up, I want to hold it for appreciation gain. Appreciation gain, I could just simply rent it out, uh, Airbnb, short term. I still have access to the property. I could go whenever I want when there's free days, like it's free right now. Actually, even I'm getting the shower fixed right now, which is great. Um, and it, it's, it was a pretty pretty good move, I'd say, in my part. I'm overall pretty satisfied. Uh, I think there's then there's a lot of opportunity. It just, I think there's a high learning curve, but I think if you get it, you get it. You know, you either make money or you don't with Airbnb, and it's, it's, it's a funny process, and I really liked it. Um, but there's a lot to it. I have so many stories, so I look forward to sharing with that with you guys. Hopefully this inspires you in any way. If you guys have any questions about Airbnb, how it relates to real estate, how I'm using it, uh, even stock market. I know you guys saw my last video. I love you all. Subscribe. Let me know. Comment below. And yeah, stay in school.